What is up, guys? XTX Trizzy here. All right, um, I just want to bring you guys a video on the supplies you're going to be uh, needing for a dual NAND console. I'm using all Team Executor products, so it may be different if you want to um, use a different chip maker. But this is what I use to make a dual NAND console. So first off is a cool runner. Um, as you can see, I already soldered in all the wires. It's kind of blurry, but I already soldered in the wires. Uh, this wire right here that you can see is orange one. This feature right here is a demon add-on. Uh, you need this because a ribbon cable right there connects to right in there, and then it connects to right there in the demon. So um, I already pre-installed all this because hopefully my comments will be arriving tomorrow. But so this is what you're gonna need a cool runner. Um, I have a I got a Rev C, but Rev uh, B and Rev A will work. You will have to do a little modification to this wire right here because there is not an EN pad on Rev B and Rev A cool runners, but they will work. So uh, that's the first thing, cool runner. Um, the second thing is the demon right here. This is this is what the demon looks like. Um, it's pretty big. I already got all the wires soldered in. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I can install this but if you can compare it to a cool runner it is quite bigger so here's a cool runner it is uh, a little bit bigger I would have to say probably twice the size um, but there it is the demon uh, this piece also comes with the demon it's how you toggle your NAND from the back with this button right here but you can also read your NAND, both Xbox NAND and the Demon NAND from right here. So I would rec recommend getting this cable. This is what plugs into there. It comes with a NANDX, this is actually my NANDX cable that I use. But it works for that too. Um, I would also recommend getting a micro USB cable. The end looks like that. I'm pretty sure it goes to like cell phones and stuff, some uh, older cell phones. But. Uh, it's also recommended that you, here's the thing where the micro USB goes into, but it states on the warning label that you should read the NAND off the daemon uh, before you even install it to make sure that everything is good there. So that's what I did, I just did that. You'll need these, these ribbon cables, uh, they will come with the daemon so you won't have to worry about that. And um, yeah I guess that's pretty much it guys. Um, I guess. You will need, obviously, you will need your soldering equipment like usual, but uh, this is all the hardware you're going to need. So, if any of you guys got any questions, uh, just feel free to ask me. Alright, peace out, guys.